New tonight, the State Department of Ecology and the U.S. Department of Energy have signed an order to allow two leaking nuclear waste tanks at Hanford to keep leaking. King 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Susanna Frame has been following this story for years. She joins us now with more on this latest development. Susanna. Greg, I just got off the phone with a tribal Hanford advocate and I spoke to others earlier today. They are criticizing the just released plan to allow two underground tanks to keep leaking toxic sludge into the ground. The announcement about the Hanford tanks comes after a year of negotiations between the state and the U.S. Department of Energy, which owns Hanford. Instead of coming up with a plan to empty the known leakers, the Department of Energy will now take other measures to mitigate harm, including covering the top of the tanks with a barrier to prevent rain to get into the tanks, and that should slow down the migration of the leaks. The advocates I spoke with are surprised and disappointed with this agreement. Our state has abandoned its duty to protect the Columbia River, our groundwater, treaty rights, and public health by letting this deadly high-level nuclear waste tank continue to leak maybe for decades. This afternoon, I spent quite a bit of time speaking with representatives for the State Department of Ecology and the Department of Energy. They said the plan is the best path forward, that the leaks don't pose any danger to people or the environment, and that they make their decisions based on all of the needs at Hanford, and that these two leaking tanks are just one priority of many they have to tackle. I'm Susanna Frame reporting live in the newsroom.